walk us to, hey, I'm going to write a book on this. Like, when did you decide, I'm going to write a book on this? When did you decide, um, you know, there isn't enough people out there who have a working knowledge of mimetic desire, and I'm going to popularize this concept, which has been around for a while. I mean, Gerard's work is well known academically, mm -hmm. um, and even functionally in marketing and, and areas like that. But when mm -hmm. did you decide, hey, I'm going to popularize this concept? Yeah, Gerard wrote his first book in, in, in the late 1950s, it's published in English in 1961. So he's been out for a very long time, very popular. Um, I learned about Gerard's work around 2010. And I read everything that I could get my hands on because I realized how powerful of a concept this was. In 2017 and 2018, um, I was so, I, I, I wanted to learn as much as I possibly could. So I attended an annual conference on Rene Girard's thought. Um, this it was in Denver and I went there and it was a highly academic conference. I mean, and this has been going on for a very long time. I think 20 years or so there's this annual meeting. And I went there with my, um, you know, I'm an entrepreneur at heart. I've started several companies. Um, I went in there with my entrepreneur hat on and realizing all of the very practical ways that understanding this theory has played out in my life from a marketing standpoint, from, from all the relationships. And it was a very nice conference. There were um, a bunch of papers read. They were very abstract and they were very academic. And I walked out of that conference in Denver thinking to myself, oh no, like I think I might have to write a book. <laughs> Because, because I, I sit at this very strange, strange intersection of understanding the theory pretty well, having studied it at that point for seven years or so, um, having had um, philosophical and theological formation because I spent time in the seminary, whole another part of my story, and having had this business background, I thought, you know, somebody once gave me the advice that maybe the book that the best book for a person to write is the book that maybe only they could write or something like that. And I had that realization. It was like a sinking feeling because I was like, I don't really I don't know if I can write a book. Well, let me see what's involved. And um, I did. I went through a process of discernment. It took me about a year and a half to admit that it's what I actually wanted to do. But it was a craving. It was like I had to give birth to this thing. And if I didn't start to articulate my thoughts, I was just going to go totally crazy. So. I set out to do it.